Alright, you wanna go? Okay. Uh, can we smoke in here? I mean, I'll, weed, weed, I mean, I mean, I'll let you. I'll let you do whatever no, the hell no, you no, want no. to. No, no, no. That's you know what? Do yeah. It. Bring over the weed tray. Dude, this is nuts. We're breaking rules on the first episode. Well, should we not do it? I don't care. Look, I got a bowl loaded. I got that when your chick's in the room. He goes, I go, don't tell. This is going to be naughty. By the way, Katie's going to be like, it's just going to stink up the hallway. No, no, no. She's fine, dude. She's cool. We can take a couple hits. I got it. Shh, don't tell anybody. Beautiful town of people. Oh, Scott, uh, Tempe? Tempe well, and in Phoenix. Phoenix, but I mean, just like Arizona, man. It's you know what like, Arizona has more than... Uh, so many beautiful... I mean, I, I'd say women, but like people. You know, like everyone, everyone stays... Everyone stays outdoor sex ready. That's what it is. <laughs> Every person's got a base tan. Let me tell you something. It, fit let me tell you something. It's interesting. I've never had more. I've actually only had a few, like maybe ever of just me, but like... This weekend, I was offered, I feel, at least two or three girlfriends. You know what I mean? Really? Like, And really? then two or three others that were like, ah, man, if Christine was here, she was hoping that she could, you know. Oh. And you're like, really? I mean, wow. You know why? I think it goes back to their programming of being in the desert. And they just need to share to survive. But it is funny that like, I, you know, as a comic and performer, like we like talk about the stuff. So sure. it's, like, it's like, I know, and I, and I know it's like, wacky shit it's why it's like fun to talk about in a com comedic sense ever doing that shit but it's funny when someone just comes up to you on the side of the, they're like yeah but like so aside from everything like yeah let's do some weird fuck shit and you're like whoa dude the drop like, what do you do for a living you're like you know these guys like he's like oh yeah i work at a blah 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 and you go oh man that's yeah, like and you're pretty... just talking about this publicly like i'm a comic so it kind of doesn't matter you're like it's pretty weird that you're being so outwardly like yeah dude a guy this weekend caught me off uh things i do i do the but also where I asked the question, would you rather fuck your wife in front of somebody or have somebody uh, yeah, watch yeah. you fuck your wife? And the, 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 I've had it go once the other way, but generally speaking, I'm expecting them to go, stranger watches us, and then like I make a whole thing about how like I'd go the other way because yeah. I don't want to be watched. And then like the I went to another thing, it was like a couple, and like they just get like my audience gets so empowered. Feel it's funny though. I think it's they great. Stand up for I themselves. Look over, not even stand up for themselves. No, just like another guy looked over. I was like, "Is this your wife?" And he just goes, "Yeah, yeah." Because I'm into the watching too. And you're like, "All right, bud." <laughs> like, he goes, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this one right here is insatiable. Hi, how you doing? I work at a contracting firm where they just start saying their personal business. Also, though, when you say it, it's so funny how much we get taken seriously when we talk, because uh, the reality is like, why you also sometimes I feel say some crazy shit that you believe or think or whatever is because also there's some like thing lying. It's like a lot of the crowd's going to be like, he's kidding. He probably wouldn't rather watch than be what yeah. I mean. But yeah, like, your, your whole point, your whole perspective is that you're joking around. Well, so the you idea have the is, the well, you is have like, the benefit of the doubt, right? So it's like, these guys don't, I would rather watch than be watched, but okay. I'm just saying like in the joke of that, you, you've built like a joke around it. So it doesn't really matter when someone's just like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm I like to it. watch her get fucked by other people. goes, like, well, that's, sir. Well, that's the drop I'm talking about. Where You're it goes from person. where it goes from being funny and like, hey, you know that thing you talked. I want to do it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, want to do it. With that you. was a really funny joke. I do love watching you get plowed out, though. Me, You're like, ah, uh, uh. Well, that's the benefit. Because I get it, but don't say it out loud to other people like me. One of the benefits of being a comedian is that you can always be like, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. But then, like, when they're like telling you that they're uh, they work in like. Oh, yeah, I work at an architecture firm. Also, we do gangbangs every Saturday. You go, that's directly connected but with even, no joke in between. As I'm saying, so now it's there is, real. There is a joke, but there's almost like I said the same thing like, like the world, like, you know, Norton and his uh, wife now are like yeah. very public and she's trans, you know what I mean? And it's, it's like something in the world, like it doesn't like, sh I shouldn't even, shouldn't even say that. It does, like I've known, you know, Jim's made jokes about this for years. And I know yeah, they're jokes know and also, like, true. Sure. And, you know, he's in the trans. And then it is funny when you, like, see it and it happened in real. You're like, you're like oh, it's like a thing. Oh, it's like okay. a real thing. Yeah. yeah you're like, oh, wow. Well, they're doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They premiered it. And then it's like almost like a different thing. You're yeah. like, all right. All right. Now it's out there. There's a different Do thing. Do you think people... <laughs> but <laughs> There'd be a different thing of me, like, telling you. I'm like, you know, if it's even, like, a buddy conversation. Like, oh, yeah, me and Christine hooked up with, like, a chick the other night. Versus you seeing a video of everyone's like, nah. Yeah, where you go, hey, what's up, Albuquerque? Oh, hold on, lovers. I'm coming to you. I'm coming to see you, Albuquerque. You go, Jay, I think that's a little too far forward. Yeah, he goes, hey, these are my, uh, yeah. my Well, that's lovers. what I mean. Because now people are getting like, 
you're a public person. You're you're you qualify as a public person just like anything you talk about, anything you do. Those people are private. So when they come out and they're like, "Oh, but here's here's my real private life." Well, also a private like they put it on Facebook now. And shit. Private life people also tend to when they come and tell me stories about that stuff because they'll always be like, "Yeah, me and my girl are like you and Christine, and I'll say stuff like that." It's like, sure. I might yeah. even arguing that they're right about that. Do they ever use lifestyle? Do they ever say? Oh, thank God. I would call that out right away. I'm like, we're not in any kind of a lifestyle. Are there a lot of chest rubs <laughs> where they go, hey, Jay, you know, uh, my wife and I are, <laughs> yeah. we like we, uh, to play. We play the game. Play. <laughs> I'm to oh, play. 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 Yuck. <laughs> like, I like to play too. I like to play PlayStation 5. Do you guys That's how play, stunted my you, mental you guys, growth is. Do you guys play solo? Do you or guys do you play, play together? Co-op? <laughs> you guys use video game terms? Do you, guys they, do, a, uh, do you do a group chat? It's the other thing too is different. If, especially if you tell a story about like, like again, like success stories aren't great. So I've never, besides a friend, publicly told a story about like, you know, me and Christine, this crazy hot chick came home. Like, there's no fun in that story. Yeah. And then you're just like, you're bragging. You sound like a- Dude, I was just talking about the story. You sound like a, like a, like a chwat. But like, that's what I'm saying. Like when people tell you their stories are like privately, like, like, like off at stage, like, a, like a, a couple comes with me after a yeah. show. Uh, and, and they start saying they're not telling you like the it's like man this one time blah 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 and then the girl like farted and something happened you know what I mean like the funny things yeah she shit her pants right it's as we were thing, about over the to Christine's door the girl farted yeah. right in Christine's face she it's one of the funniest things ever fought in my face that's why it's funny <laughs> like she blue Christine, ass yeah if me and this if me and Christine's had a wonderful night with this girl there's no, no story you know, yeah. why well, tell that you barely even sweated but when other people tell you their sex. stories they're just trying to tell you like they're like. And this hot girl came in and goes, oh, and they went at it. For, and you're like, ha. Uh, like, it's like, but you got to say something funny quick. Like, now you're just like, uh, he goes, yeah. how does that make you feel? <laughs> <laughs> I can feel you getting warm. He Start goes, grabbing my wife, shoulders. as you can see here, has a tender body. Oh, Start touching her uncomfortably. I, and I offered her up to the <laughs> other man. Yeah, that's when you're like, dude, you're just standing outside smoking. <laughs> we had an open door party. Oh, you know, one of the guys she worked with, you go, I don't want to go this deep on it. I don't. There's. Because now I hate to. He's back doing a ton of music. I hate to pull rank on you here and tell you that it's gone. You, possibly, at this point, might be able to slip through the cracks. There has been several things. I don't know if I've even got to tell. How about the, did I tell you about the podcast with Corey Feldman that they showed me the messages from his manager? That was like, I see that Jay's done your podcast before. Like, Jay uh, has made a career out of making fun of Corey. This has setup written all over it. This seems like a trap. I love those words, too, like trap setup. I go... Crap for what? Like, what what am I going to do to you? Wait, I've what done nothing but send this? wonderful people to your uh, thing. Yeah, we've got, we sold tickets to your music. Yeah, I just did, uh, you're doing Arizona soon? Yeah, do it stand up live. Are you doing Holmberg show in the morning? I don't know. I did it. Oh, I did it last time I was there. Those guys are great. They're awesome. And they are way into the Corey Feldman stuff. They went. They, they went, just went the other day well, and that's filled crazy, the audience. Because I, I, the last time I was in Phoenix at stand up live, they had just gone. Yeah. So they, they're, there's, I mean, they have more concerts under their belt than I do. I, here's the thought I had about Feld Dog today when I saw it. Someone tweeted a video of him on Stern, one of the classic videos that started course, our yeah, doctorate yeah. in Feldology. He sings What's Up with the Youth, I think. Yeah, I, I think he does. Um, I saw that clip tweeted with above it, someone went, Oh, that guy's doing that thing again. <laughs> and I didn't realize, and he needs to realize this, there's a generation of young people that grew up with the internet that think this guy's just known for sucking at music. Oh, yeah. Poor guy, yeah, they don't even know that he that was, he was like, an That he was a lights out actor I growing I up. I submit to you, if that's how you feel about Corey Feldman, go to his show because before he comes on stage, there's a 25 minute PowerPoint presentation informing you of all of his accomplishments, right down to, High five Reggie Jackson once. <laughs> it's like he, every interaction you've ever had with a celebrity. We, uh, I mean, dude, when it comes out. One time Cher true. winked at me, I think. I or mean, she had something in her eye. I think, I mean, this is funny because like this is the first time, you know, this is the first episode of my podcast, but it's also like, I told Katie, I was like, it's your ex-wife coming over to your new condo. <laughs> where you go like, yeah, and I got access to the pool pretty much any day I want to. But I would love to come back on Bonfire and do a recap of all the new Fell Dog stuff that's out. Because there's the tooth hitting him. Someone tagged us in the introduction where his band tries to do the comeback king. Well, they don't try. And That's he, what they do. They start chanting. Yeah. And there's also now, I'll tell you. And now guy. there's, now he's going after you, other podcasts. I don't want to say, blur this name out. Yeah, all right. 
uh, Boop, do a redacted. <laughs> well, because he's also, because I, I think he believes they're friends, sort of. But like, I don't know. I don't know if he even thinks that way. But uh, yeah, that from, name's uh, bleeped out. Yeah, so bleeped out. Yeah. But um, he was just, because I was like, you're like into this for like this reason, right? And he was like, oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 And he was like, and then, and then, yeah. and since, you don't want him to go like, and since has been in like a bunch of contact, just going like, oh, but by the way, I, I was almost like, you're in this the same way. And he's like, yeah, I go, I inarguably love it. Yeah. Like, that's why I'm saying he's so angry and I get why, because he, we're not in jet. We're vocally, we're the only people vocally saying why we love it. He, everyone is there for the same reasons. With sure. a handful of fat 50 year olds who are holding up team beat posters. Yeah, they're whatever. holding on to 86. But the rest of the audience is there for like, their right reasons, but his, he would say wrong reasons, but it doesn't matter. They're there and they're going to enjoy it the same. Like but that's almost the bad, that's the part I don't understand where if he lent, if he leaned into it the right way, it would be so much more, by the way, Jay's got a light coming down on his face and I don't know where from. Christ. You are, you're chosen, dude. The Lord is, no, it's from up there. I don't know if we try to like push the, Hmm. This is going to be in the podcast too. This, we, yes. sh- we do. We show bones and all. Look at this. Oh. Mm-hmm. Just have there. Yeah, you're just going to have to look super. Dude, you too. You, look, you know what it is? What's badass is it's running down one side of your eye, so you look like you're like, oh, dude, Jay, Jay's stricken by inspiration. <laughs> he goes, Dan, wait. I have a thought. Le, le de Ocarson. <laughs> it's your Cologne commercial. No, I have a thought. We need you to do a Johnny Depp thing where you're like, <laughs> ever on a podcast, the light comes to me. That'd be good, right? That, right there. Yeah, you're fine. We're learning. I'll just I might not even be a couch. Dude, I was trying to learn how to sit on a couch because I sat on it. And you, you know more experience as a big guy. You want to put ass back? That's exactly. I always We're do this. About, I always do this. I teach me fat. how to sit on my couch for the rest of the yeah, time. Yeah, let's, let's sit on our couches. Yeah, can we do, we're going to do sitting lessons. I'll tell you what really works out good for camera, maybe not for getting it on camera, is this job. Oh, right here? <laughs> oh, because they can't tell anything. He goes, maybe he's fat. Maybe he's pencil thin. Look at that. If we're leaning no forward, idea. do we do, do you think that's how, this is how I break? Can't do. Oh, yes. oh, Christ. <laughs> yes. And I mean, I, I, I got to talk to my Dan like this. <laughs> you got to put an arm up. Oh, Christ. Oh, Lord. Oh, dude, by the way, peep the wrestling chairs. Oh, yeah. As. Because he's getting like these viral TikToks or whatever. Yeah. He's doing it on purpose, but he yells at his band vocally, <laughs> like off mic, but he's going, it's like, you'll see him go like, start over, start over. I, that's the one I saw with the Comeback King There's intro. more than that. Buddy. That was the Riot Festival listen, you saw. We're going to need. Yeah, we need a little time. You might need to bring me on for a Lost Tapes, for, for a sure. full Lost Tapes. Yeah. And Feldology. New stuff for sure. Oh my God, catch me up. Also catch Bobby up on maybe some stuff he's blind on. Yeah, he hasn't seen all of it. I've showed him a lot.